everybody. Whoa, my mic's way back there. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. This is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw. We're going to see some more gameplay footage tomorrow of Horizon Forbidden West, and I want to talk about what I want to see in the next Horizon game. Enough of this old face. We're going to see some gameplay of the previous game here soon, but I just, uh, well, I didn't have a good transition here. <laughs> Get it together, Jake. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you like what I'm doing here, a like, a comment, a subscribe. It means a lot to me. And I will say that I really, really like Horizon Zero Dawn. For everyone that's curious, I have a review up on my YouTube of the game. It's the four years late review where I really got into it and I got to play it also on PS5, which is a great experience because the loading in that game is a bit of a problem on PS4 and on PS5, you know. It's essentially gone. So I'm really excited about Forbidden West and let's talk about what we want to see more of and what we want to see less of. Let's do it. Let's start with what I want to see more of, at least for a little bit here. Uh, some of my favorite parts of the game, obviously, are fighting these giant mechs. It's without question the best part of the game when you're coming up on one of these big things to fight and you know that you're going to need to knock components off of its entire body. There's no question there's going to be more of this in Forbidden West. I just hope they realize that this is what's really exciting about the game. I found the human sections to be not so exciting, but I think the section where you're fighting these big creatures is so good. It's so much fun. It it makes this game feel so unique compared to other things inside this genre. I just want a lot more of it. And they have shown that the humans you're going to war with are riding, you know, those big elephants. So I'm just hoping if you are dealing with a lot of humans inside the game, that they at least spice it up by adding a lot of these enemies to fight or control. That's what I want to see for sure. More of this, more, 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 more. It's so much fun when you're fighting these. Speaking of the combat, something I'd also like more of is a variety of different weapons to use. I, obviously, it's the second game. They have to add more things to do, right? Without question. But I would just like a lot more because I felt like it was easy to sort of fall into a rhythm inside Horizon Zero Dawn, knowing what works and not using too much else. Even when you tried to branch out to the other weapons, there were certain ones that were just so clearly better than the others that I think that's a little bit of a shame. I want to see more things to do combat wise inside the game. Basically, I love the combat in this game so much. I just want more weapons that feel viable and more enemies to fight. Those are like my big, big things for what I want more of. And if you deliver that, look, hey, Let's be honest, even if they don't deliver that and they just deliver a similar game, I'm going to freaking love it. But that's what I want to see more of. Something I'd also like to see some more of in the new game is exploration. I felt like a lot of the exploration in this game was only tied to finding different pinpoints on the map. I always think it would be cool if you could go somewhere in the map and find something special there and it not be listed as a point of interest. Just something unique because I do find that you're going all over this game and you're spending most of your time in your map looking at the next place to go. It would be fun if you didn't have to worry about that so much. You know, some of the secrets weren't just tied to interest points on the map. Now, let's talk about some things that I hope they do less of in the next game. Things that I think would really improve the next game. Obviously, I'll be playing it on a PlayStation 5, as I said earlier, so loading and stuff won't be an issue. That'll be really exciting. So I'm not gonna go much into that. But some things that I really think that they could fix would be how the story is doled out. Basically, in the first game here, you're spending all of your time learning about the story through watching these hologram videos. And it's not the only thing that's happening. You are meeting characters, but I think it's unfortunate that so much of the story, just a huge bulk of the story is told to you that way. I recognize the reason they did it. It makes sense in the context of the world. I'm not saying it doesn't. And in fact, there is a really nice moment at the end of the game because of that. However, I don't know. I would really like to see the story 
happen more to Aloy and because of Aloy rather than what happened in this one. I'm not even going to spoil the story in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn because I could imagine that people are still excited to play it. But suffice it to say, I feel like the story is almost divorced from the main character a lot of the time. And I would like to see that changed. Quest-wise, they need to get rid of so many fest... Fest quetches? Oh, Jake. Fetch quests. There are a lot of fetch quests in the first one. It just feels like you're going from point A to point B, and they're like, hey, actually go back there. Walk all the way back there. Oh, okay, I'll walk back there. Actually go back there. All right, I'll fast travel near it, and I'll go back. It's not that exciting. I know it pads out game time, but I don't think you need it. I think the better thing you could do is send me on more interesting quests that open up as you get into them and not have me have to go here and there and bring this piece back to this person. And It's just not the most interesting way to format your quests. So I would like to see that changed in the upcoming game. Less fetch quest stuff. Speaking of what I want to have a lot less of in the new game and really need some work is the inventory system in this game. It's a mess. You spend way too much time managing your inventory. Your inventory gets full, and honestly, there's seemingly no reason it does. When I think about the game, I don't think it adds to it in any way. It might have something to do with memory issues once you start carrying too many goods, but they need to do something with the inventory. It's so annoying how much time is spent going in, dropping stuff you don't need, or selling stuff you don't need, because you have, I don't know, it was like 120 slots or something like that, and you fill them up pretty easily as you get just to the midway point in the game, and then you have to spend time pulling things out of your inventory. It's unnecessary, so I really want to see that changed in the new game. I'm actually pretty sure they will, because I know a lot of people have complained about the inventory system. But those are my big thoughts with what I want to see more of and what I want to see less of in Horizon Forbidden West. I think Horizon Zero Dawn is an absolutely fantastic game. You really, really should go give it a chance if you haven't already. I would definitely play it before the new one because it's always fun to see what huge leaps they made gameplay-wise. But... Yeah, there you go. I think I've said my piece on what I want to see in Horizon Forbidden West. I want to see a more character-driven story about Aloy where you're not spending your time in these holograms. And I want to spend more time shooting these giant robots because it's so much fun. This game looks great. I can't wait to see it tomorrow. And hopefully we'll talk more once the gameplay footage is revealed. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Mwah.